This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to Arn and the master of ceremonies, our host with the most. Of course, he is the founder of the Four Horsemen, the Hall of Famer himself, the Enforcer, Double A, Arn Anderson. Arn, how are you, man? I'm doing great, Conrad. How are you? Man, I'm good. We are safe and healthy and happy, and you're in the comfort of your home, and I'm in mine, and we're having a little fun, talking a little wrestling today, but we don't have to get too far in our way back machine. We're talking about payback from 2015. So just about five years ago, it went down May 17th, Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. Draws about 10,000 folks, which is a a nearly full house there. Baltimore, one of the old famous horseman towns, probably one of your favorite towns to perform in, huh? Yes, sir. The the Baltimore fans have always been great. And uh, as long as the story is something that they can follow, they're better than great. They have. They're so responsive and, uh, they enjoy the product and they always have, and, uh, they're so fun to perform for. What is it about that building that makes it so historic for wrestling? It feels like so many great wrestling matches and memories have happened in that particular arena. Probably eight out of 10 times they've been close to capacity. You know, throughout history, they have been so supportive and the the acoustics are so good. But when you have a history, it's like Chicago, of the building being full, then when you're sitting home and you haven't been to a show and you live in Chicago or around Chicago, your expectations are so big, just like Baltimore. Every time you saw it on TV or a pay-per-view or Clash of the Champions, it was packed and it just made for that incredible atmosphere that you were expecting. And that's what you got. I think, I think the fans were part of the stars of that show. Well, it's hard to disagree. Uh, it is always a hot crowd and this is going to be no, 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 uh, different here. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving here and, uh, talk about the next match. It's Naomi and Tamina snooker. They're going to wrestle the Bella twins for six minutes and nine seconds. This is a bad spot to be in. Meltzer would describe it as a death spot and the crowd's not into it because they were so hot for the match before. Um, he would say the match fell apart at the finish when Snooker was supposed to grab Nikki's leg as she went into the ropes. Nikki went into the ropes and she wasn't there. So Nikki paused and waited. Uh, Naomi hit the rear view, but Nikki kicked out. Bree did a plancha off the steps onto Snooker, but Naomi slammed Nikki off the top rope for the pin one star. Um, You know, you hate to see a missed spot like this, but the ladies are working hard. You and I are big Nikki Bella fans. We think the world of uh, everybody involved in this match, but for whatever reason, the chemistry just wasn't there. And uh, we had a bad night and it gets one star. The work was okay, but that one blown spot, nobody really knew what to do. Less than ideal. Yeah, and I just leave it on that. I'm sure they had better outings on different nights and they're better than that. And, uh, I'm sure in following matches and follow-up matches to that, they gave a much better, uh, accounting of themselves. Some nights you have bad nights. They might've just had a bad night. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.